Google never gets where I'm at. I'm back in Cebu City. My mom and papa wanted to come back early. And because they were coming back early, Cindy getting time off to go with us and do the road trip back to LA just wasn't happening. So we talked about it and since I needed to come back to do the immigration thing and we wanted to check up on the registration on the Ruthie. We decided to heck with it. I'm just going to come back. And so I'm spending a couple weeks with him. And right now I am down in Mandeli City in Cebu City. That I'm taking care of my immigration while I'm here. And of course it's Cinelog, so trying to find anything up closer to the motorcycle dealer as well, or in between, just wasn't doable. But this morning I am on my way to Jollibee, and I'm gonna grab some breakfast at Jollibee's, and then head over into J-Center Mall and see what's going on there as far as getting this immigration, the annual report in done. But I will talk with you at Jollibee's. I made it to Jollibee's. Great little place to eat. Their corned beef meal, 120 pesos, not too bad. Except I don't do onions and they actually make me pretty sick. So I didn't realize the corned beef was loaded with onion. We'll have to keep that in mind for the future. But their garlic rice and egg is actually pretty good still. And their coffee. Their coffee is about like American coffee. It's not too bad. I actually kind of prefer the three in one, but you know, hey, I'll take what I can get. The, in one of the other Jolly Bees, I saw they had a, uh, a breakfast sandwich, a corned beef uh, turnover type sandwich. I was kind of hoping to find that, and I could have swore the Jolly Bees that I was two in one loop, I had breakfast sandwiches. But I don't see any on this menu, so I don't know whether or not it's just something each chain has, each individual one has, or what. So we'll figure it out. But. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and head off to Jay Center Mall. Just finished with Jolly Bees. No, I didn't realize they had an upstairs. I'm gonna have to try that next time. Right over there is a Yamaha dealer. I may have to swing into there later today. Check out what they've got for Yamahas in the area. I am gonna walk up that direction. And I understand J Center Mall is up in that direction, which is where I need to go so I can go into immigration and do my annual check-in, hopefully. Like anything else in the Philippines. I've got a few expats that are saying it doesn't matter where you go, but I don't have anything back from immigration itself that says it doesn't matter where you go. I'm hoping I don't have to go back to Manila every year but if i do i do that would have been my bad for getting it there but at that point we really didn't have a whole lot of choice hey jay center mall is way closer than i thought it was right there it is and there's a mcdonald's and a bench and several other stores that i don't recognize NDI Commercial Complex. Doesn't look like a whole lot's open yet.
Dang it, John. All kinds of things up here. Oh, Ferraris is a hotel? I saw this on uh, Google Maps. I was wondering what a Ferrari dealer was here. I guess Ferrari is the name of the hotel. <laughs> Yeah, stuff like that, you really need to watch out walking around here. Man, wouldn't that... something or rebuilding something I'm not sure which version of a Land Cruiser? I may have to go over there later today too, check that out. I've been wondering about these multi-caps. Some hyper mart in there. I may have to stop and see if I get a water pot. I never thought to grab mine and bring it. Now, I'm actually going to put this away because I'm going to cross the street. And as you can see, the traffic around here requires your full undivided attention. So, talk with you in a few. I'm here at Jason and Mall. That I just finished with doing my annual report in, check in, annual report, oh my god, with immigration. It actually wasn't that hard. The hardest part was finding out how to get into immigration. It opened a couple hours before the mall did. Fortunately, one of the restaurants had a pass-through that you got into from outside and were able to get into the mall. And they let me go through on that one but because all the mall doors were closed. The, I found out, I have a copy of the front and back of your iCard when you go in. That's the first thing they ask you to do. 
after that, uh, went over, got a receipt that I had the copy, went back over, gave that to a guard, waited in line, paid a fee, waited in line, got a receipt for paying the fee, waited in line, turned, found out I needed a copy of the receipt, went over, got a copy of the receipt, came back, waited in line, turned in the copy of the receipt with the original receipt. They made a few notations on it and said, you're good until next year. So it was all taken care of probably about two hours and maybe five minutes of that was actually interacting with people. The other hour and 55 minutes <laughs> was waiting in line after line. Then I just started calling it the line waiting game. And I think I won because they gave me everything that I needed. So it wasn't too bad, but I've been kind of chilling out, hanging out here and checking out J Center Mall. Not one of the bigger malls, definitely not one of the better malls I've seen, but it's still kind of cool. And they've got a little bit of everything. So I'm actually going to head back in and it's close to noon. So I'm going to grab me some lunch and then probably head back to the hotel. Grab a shower. It's hot and sticky. And then wander some more because I'm actually free. I may, I may, instead of heading back to the hotel, since I, I'm on a roll with paperwork, I may actually just grab a cab and run over to the Rusi dealer and show up in person and ask, you know, hey, uh, where's my registration, please? Hopefully that'll light a fire in under them to get what I need or at least get me where I need to be. So depending on what you see next it kind of depends on my decision so we'll talk with you shortly well i decided to go give it a shot and just show up at the dealership and see what would happen i'm actually really glad i did that they actually had the paperwork right there so the two major things that i really planned on spending almost two weeks doing I got done in one day. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the time. I'm just going to hang out and wander around, explore Cebu City. So, but that's actually a good thing. So, right there, there's the street that I bought it at. I'll take you down there in a minute. Here's a Jollibee that I had breakfast at that day. And not a whole lot to show you in this area. All kinds of action, but I love watching the traffic, but I don't think you guys do. So I'm gonna let you get going. <laughs> 